going on everybody i'm back again with another video and today i'm in a neighborhood i don't really know much about but it's over here in the bronx called longwood and i discovered a lot of beautiful architecture there's actually an historic district behind me and i'm right here in a local park bill rainey park so i think it's going to be a pretty interesting neighborhood to walk around explore to see what's going on this is kind of like close to mod haven which i made a video over there and we're also like in the borderline of Melrose. so we're technically kind of like in the south bronx area but yeah we're gonna walk around to see what's going on and I'm gonna take you guys with me so without further ado, join me. So this neighbor is not really big but the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it towards the historic district where all the beautiful houses are because I think that's something that is pretty much undiscovered or a lot of people they don't know about and I literally just discovered it when I was walking around here so I'm gonna walk around there and show you guys. I think it's supposed to rain so I'm gonna hurry up before the rain comes down but let's see the weather's just playing up and down. But so far over here is pretty pleasant. You can see the park, how beautiful it is. But now let's make it towards the other side. Southern Boulevard is over there too, so they got a lot of streets. We're also bordering another neighborhood that I want to cover, Hunts Point, which doesn't get really like good reputation, but I'm going to go check it out too. Not today, but in another time. Not sure if this is a school, but look at this beautiful mural right here. And then they had it says the Bietz, the Bronx. You know, Bronx, just like Brooklyn, has some beautiful art. Man, it's a local neighborhood over here in the park. It's over that way. So pretty interesting. But if I go that way, it's like the historic district with the beautiful architecture. So let's go check it out. This is one of the streets that I want to show you guys. And I literally just discovered this. Had no idea that this area over here had the beautiful architecture. But you'll see in a bit. Like some beautiful houses, apartment complex. I guess it's like a duplex houses or maybe... There's a lot of apartments in the inside, but this is just, you know, plain beautiful. And it's right here in the heart of the Bronx. So this is the Longwood Historic, the Longwood Historic District. And it's like a couple of blocks down, so we're gonna explore some of the blocks. So these houses are just plain gorgeous. Look at it. The architecture. And it's like a different type of uh, architecture that I've seen in other neighborhoods in New York City. This is like a little hidden gem right in the Bronx. This one's actually gorgeous. But I think all of them are beautiful. And it's in the historic district because the signs are like written in the brown color. So that's how you know you're in the historic district. So I think this is like a really hidden gem down here in the South Bronx. Look at this house, pretty beautiful. I'm gonna walk into the other blocks to see what else can I find and what else the neighborhood has to offer. It's going, the street that I'm walking in is, is actually Beck Street. Then we got this one here, 156th Street right here. And this literally looks like the White House. This building right here in the corner. But then like all of this is pretty much uh, walkable. So I don't even know where to go. So I think I'm just gonna go straight, see what this has over here. Then I'm just gonna turn back and make it to other parts of the neighborhood. And you can see how it keeps going. Then ahead is Legend or Legate Avenue. And if you make a left, it'll take you to Southern Boulevard, which is also like another main street around this district in the Bronx. Just look at this one. And I think actually I was coming that way. I'm gonna to walk towards that way to show you what that area looks like. Cause I think it's pretty beautiful. And then I'm gonna turn back and check out the other streets around this area. Then we're gonna make it to the main street or Southern Boulevard heading towards the subway line. Over here, the six train runs. And then a little bit over that way, the two and the five train runs. So this side is pretty interesting. We got like this old looking apartment complex that you see all over the bronze, but over here, some scaffolding. But if you're coming towards the other way, where this is the direction that I was coming, it looks even nicer, so let me see if I can make it towards that way to show you what's happening. You see what I'm talking about? This seems like there are a newer version of apartment. But it looks like if you're like in some parts of Manhattan or even in Brooklyn. But this is the Bronx, you know, pretty nice street over here. If it could taste me to 156th Street, so it's not a big neighborhood, you know, but since you're not familiar, you just gotta walk around, you'll see how all the streets they be connecting. But and I tell you, this neighborhood really giving me some type of content. It's like Every single street that I'm looking at, it looks like it's worth to explore. So <laughs> as small as it is, I guess it's good, because that way I can explore like, almost every single corner of the neighborhood. And I'm literally just getting started. There's a little local park here ahead of me. Then another thing I like is how wide and impeccable the sidewalk, look, the sidewalk looks like. Then you got a little local park for the little kids. I'm gonna assume they have some restrooms right here. And then there's actually a highway. I think in the other side of that highway is actually Hunts Point. But yeah, this is just mostly apartment complex, but it looks pretty nice over here. And the historic district is over that way, so 
I haven't even finished yet. <laughs> then I'm sure in the summertime, it must be lit to walk around here. But one negative thing I got to tell you about the Bronx is you really got to watch your steps because a lot of people, I guess they have the dogs, but they don't pick up the dog dropping. So if you don't pay attention, you can step in something nasty. But now let's make it back to Longwood Avenue, make a left and explore the other streets all around there that I think they're pretty beautiful. And then we're gonna make it to, towards the other side of the park to see how the neighborhood looks like. I was looking around from a distance and it looks pretty interesting like the buildings and apartment complex. And I know a lot of people that are pretty interested in looking at uh, what the Bronx looks like. So we're back again at Longwood Avenue and nothing crazy, but it's just mostly like a lot of bodegas, delis. Then I think this is what, oh, this is actually an athletic, athletic league. You know, but a lot of people, they're hanging out here. So let's see what's going on ahead of me. Keeps going here, then ahead is a little bit more residential. This is Kelly Street. So I'm gonna make a detour over here to see what Kelly Street looks like. And so far, I think it's looking pretty nice too. I just gotta say, I walk around some of the areas and even though the neighborhood looks beautiful, you just gotta be careful with some characters all like in the lookout. Like I already noticed some people that were spotting me and stuff, but hey, you know, just walk normal and try to show like some respect to the people and you'll, you should be fine. But then Kelly Street is pretty nice too. You can see the sidewalks are pretty white. Then really beautiful architecture happening over here. Then across the street too is pretty nice. So based on what I, my observation, it seems like this is mostly like a super residential neighborhood. Residential neighborhood, but you know, pretty interesting architecture. Once again, we're back again, 156, and this house looks pretty nice. It can use a couple of painting, and then over here you see what's going on, and then keep the sidewalks impeccable. We got this gentleman sweeping the street, so that's really nice, wow. I like how nice it looks like, you know. With that way from ahead, you can see the PJs, and that might be kind of like the borderline uh, Mott Haven, which is another pretty interesting neighborhood in the Bronx that I covered not much ago. But I think I'm gonna make it back here towards the park and try to make it to the other side to see what the neighborhood looks like. Wow, even down here, it looks beautiful too, like the houses, the apartment complex and the architecture. Then here, just like the other streets, look at this house, it's pretty nice. Wow. I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure that in the inside is beautiful. Gotta tell you, looking at some of this architecture reminds me a bit of like Montreal in Canada. Like the way how they have the triangles on top. Like it literally feels like you're in another city, but this is actually New York City. So I tell you, no matter what, even though I've been around this area for almost 14 years, I'm still impressed with the varieties and all the options that you can find no matter where you go, you know? So it's just awesome. But yeah, I'm really impressed with this neighborhood over here. It's just nice. So that's why I tell you guys, never be afraid of the Bronx. You know, the media always portray like it's a horrendous place, but we got some amazing people. And over here, I really feel what community vibe is compared to what you feel in the touristy Manhattan. So we're back again in Longwood Avenue, and if you go all the way over there, I'll see the subway station. I can assume it's actually the two and the five train line, so I rode that train many times, and I've seen the subway stop around here, so I'm glad that I stopped here to explore the neighborhood. So far, it's pretty interesting. Here I am back again in the park, and just another thing I want to tell you, there's actually a public restroom. And if you guys know anything, if you ever see my live streams, you know I struggle every time to find a public restroom. Sorry, I had to cut that out because the guy literally put a music out loud, like loud, bachata. This is how you know you're in a Hispanic neighborhood. But what I was saying, you know, it's really hard to find like a restroom in New York City, but I found one over there that's pretty good. And here we are again in the park. Got a lot of young people there playing sports and stuff. So that's one thing about New York. They got all these parks where you can do recreational activities. And now, you know, the weather's going to get nice. I want to see what the street looks like. So I'm going to walk around here a little bit, and then I'm probably going to turn back or merge into the other side to see what's going on. So ahead of me at the end, you know there's a subway line passing by, and it kind of reminds me, I'm trying to remember, it was somewhere in Brooklyn. I think it was like close to Bushwick that I filmed a neighborhood that had like regular residential houses, and the subway line was passing on top. But then we got this local basketball court. I think it's like a school. And one thing I like about the school is how they got all the street murals painting over here. This one says Longwood, so. This neighborhood impressed me so far. I guess it's open to the public, so let me just take a little peek. 
says that Moselle. Then it says whether the greatest story ever told started in the Bronx. This is actually pretty dope. So I tell you, the Bronx is super, super rich in history, you know. I think the Bronx really shape up a lot of the NYC culture, you know, and it's just awesome to come around here, you know. So actually the street at the end where you see the subway line that passed by, it's called Westchester Avenue. So I'm gonna assume that it takes you all the way to Westchester Square. You can see the subway train passing here. So I think I'm gonna hang out here to see if I can capture a little footage of the subway crossing above. I'm just obsessed with capturing that, you know, you can see it right here. And let me see if I can get a close up and hang out for a bit. You know, here they got like this charter bus. Not sure if it's like a bus that does tours or anything, but wow, that's pretty cool. So they're hanging out right here. And this is 163rd Street right here, which I'm probably gonna turn back, but I wanna hang out here and capture the subway passing above. And then there are some nice apartment complex right there ahead of me. So now Paige is his key, so I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit until I see the subway train pass by <laughs> and capture maybe like a B-roll footage over here that what's going on. There you had it, I captured a little bit of the subway line. I even captured it for my cell phone. And then this is 100, they got like a mechanic over there, but then this is 130, 163rd Street. And it's like a main street too. Things happening, but I'm gonna detour back because that takes me near the park area and I want to check out a couple of the local streets around to see what it, what it looks like. And then you can see the bus over here. A lot of people, they commute by bus, by subway line. Like I say, in New York City, you really don't need like a car, you know, it's just like, waste some money and time for you to find a parking lot and all of that, but yeah. But here we are again, near the park area, and it looks pretty nice and pretty local, like the architecture. But I think I'm gonna cross over that side to see what's going on. Then behind me is Interval Avenue, which I've seen it in the subway line, so I guess it collides with the uh, avenues behind me, and it takes you to different other neighborhoods around here in the Bronx. Then I, I'm back again in Kelly Avenue, and this over here looks pretty interesting. Like the beautiful architecture in the road, it literally does like a curve. So I'll show you the street ahead of me. And then it takes you back, I believe it's 163rd Street. So I'm gonna see what else can I check out. I'm probably gonna make it towards Southern Boulevard area near the Sis train. Cause I think that's like a main street with a lot of stores and activities going on. But here it looks pretty, far, pretty cool so far, you know. But I see the garbage, so I wonder if there's any rats that run around here. You know, I'm paranoid of rats. <laughs> but I'm back again on 163rd, so I'm gonna make it straight towards Southern Boulevard. Like I said, there's actually like a Main Street, it goes all over, but there's an area that takes you straight, straight to the subway line. And based on what I saw in the map, I think there's like a lot of stores and cool stuff to look at. But even over here is pretty interesting. You can see what's going on. Heavy traffic jam. That's why I say it's really bad to drive around here. Then they got a designated bus lane right here, so. But let's make it ahead and see what can we find. And you can see how cool it looks like. This is what one of the regular streets looks like. Super residential apartment complex. Then over here, this building looks pretty nice. And like I say, what I like about the Bronx is how wide the sidewalks are. Then a couple of blocks down should be the main street that I want to take a look and we'll go deep in it to see what's going on. Then any other neighbor in New York, apartment complex, then in the first floor, you get like deli, business, and barbershop. So, you know, pretty interesting. You know, here's where it's gonna get pretty interesting. Wow, I see a pretty intense uh, traffic jam. Then Hunts Point should be in that other side. But here's where I'm probably gonna see all the restaurants, the business, and stores going on. I even see like a food truck here in Panadas ahead of me. So yeah, but let's see what's going on. Also see like a bakery and stuff. But like I see, this is pretty nice here and pretty organized compared to 149 and 3rd Avenue in the hub, or even in Fordham. But here you get like any other regular store that you'll get in many other neighborhoods around the city. So yeah, this is Southern Boulevard right here. Not too busy today, but there's still people walking around. Mostly a lot of young kids, I guess they got off of school and they're out here, you know. I'm not sure these people are trying to set up or they're taking it off. So I guess they got street vendors right here too. Also another thing that I noticed a lot is a lot of guys selling like ear pods, you know, electronics. So I'm not sure those are the new people who are migrating here to New York City. And then I guess they get like basic jobs like that, you know. 
But yeah, you know, like I say, with this thing, a lot of people call it a crisis. I can't really tell much of a difference because New York City has always been a city of immigrants. So you don't know who's new here or who has been here for a lot of generations. But, you know, life goes on. The city continues to go on. You see the street pretty much keeps going all the way to the end to where the subway line is. And it's mostly a black and Latino neighborhood. But I like it so far. It's pretty interesting. But now I'm just going to make it to one of those regular streets to see what can I find. It's probably going to be mostly apartment complex. I know there's just like a park um, ahead of me. It's like once you get off the main street, this is what you get. Like I tell you, the cool thing about the Bronx compared to other boroughs is like every single street is different from another one. So you just go crazy trying to see what's going on, you know. So I think it makes the borough pretty interesting. I tell you, there's so many undiscovered parts in this borough, so totally worth to explore. We got another local park here, but nothing crazy, just pretty standard. I think I'm gonna do a block down and merge to the left to see what it looks like, what the apartments look like. But yeah, even in the regular streets like this, you get like dollar stores, so it's convenient, you know, you can just walk anywhere and get what you need. And here apartments are developing a new building over this way. But let me make a left to see what it looks like over here. So I think it's going to be uh, pretty interesting. Hmm, I think this might be like a little brownstone or similar. It reminds me of 139 and 140 in Mott Haven. Something similar to that style. Let me just cross the street. This is what it looks like. And once again, the sidewalks are pretty wide. So it's just apartments, but you know, it looks pretty nice. Maybe like a little bit of a retouch and it'll look even more interesting. But then you got this one over here with the curves kind of has a little bit of that Sunset Park feel architecture. Right in the Bronx. And this is a neighborhood, you know, I probably passed by the subway train, but never thought about getting around here and exploring it. But I'm glad I did. I also see a Puerto Rican flag right there on the other side. So, yeah, this is pretty cool, pretty lit. I like it so far. So I'm going to do one more block to my right, and then I'm just going to walk all the way back to the park. Unless I see something interesting, then I'm just going to wrap up the video of this neighborhood. And I'm glad I made a detour over here, because like I always like to show you guys is how they develop like new buildings combined with the old apartment complex. And then over here, they got a new building, as you can see. They developed this new building. I'm not sure if it's one of those buildings that they put in Housing Connect. Could be. But yep. Nice looking building though. But it's happening and it's making its way here towards the South Bronx. And this is another park, but it seems like it had its good days in the past. So now I'm just gonna turn back and walk all the way to the end. So it's actually another local park here. Seems like it might be like a newer version of the park. You know, you can see they're renovating or doing construction. So that happens like all over. Then you got like a basketball court over here, so it's pretty cool. Then the highway is right there ahead of me, so yep. Yeah. Gotta tell you, it's a pretty interesting neighborhood so far. So this bridge over here is 278. I actually see like a little overpass on the other side. Then when you cross it to the other side, there's another neighborhood, like I said before, called Hunts Point. And if you look at the map, it looks like it's isolated. And over here is like a busy highway. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to make it to the other side. I feel some raindrops falling, but We'll make it to the other side and wrap up the video. Then we made it back, but in the other side of Southern Boulevard. And like I said, I really like how organized and wide the streets are. And you got a lot of business in the other side of the street. So I'm gonna walk it probably a couple of blocks down and then make it back to the park where I started my video and call it the day. Because it's been an amazing evening. It's for this nice neighborhood. Look at this one. I like this architecture here, it's pretty nice. So I'm in the other side of Southern Boulevard. And this is like a different vibe. And the SIS train is over that way to Hunts Point. So if you walk to the other side, it takes you to the other neighborhood. But then over here, we got some pretty interesting looking street art called the Bronx over here. This is dope. Real street art, which I like over here. So we got like this little pedestrian area over here. And I think there's a plaza ahead of me. Then if I make a little detour to my left and right, it should take me back to the park where I started. And you see what's going on? There's a little church over here. I like the cobblestone, so it's like a plaza. And they got this over here, that's pretty cool. 
and then the residential area ahead of me. But little by little, it's starting to drizzle a little bit, but I'm glad that I managed to film whatever I could. You know, the weather's unpredictable. Like I say, it's gonna rain, then it's not gonna rain, then I guess it changes mind and it's rain, but that's how it works right here in New York City. You just gotta keep track of the weather. And then ahead of me, you can see some beautiful houses. And then the park is over that way. So I'll probably show a little bit over here and then we turn back to the park and finish up the video. Over here, nothing crazy, you know, pretty standard apartment complex like you'll see in any other neighborhood around New York. But yeah, I think I already see pretty much what I wanted to see here in Longwood. I think the main attraction was the historic district where they had a beautiful apartment complex over there. I think that was really pretty nice and I had no idea that was right there. So, you know, the beauty about exploring. Made it back again to the park, as you can see right here behind me. But it's been a lovely evening, you know, the weather, even though it looks cloudy, it's pretty comfortable, not hot, not cold. But I think I'm gonna wrap up my video here, exploring this neighborhood of Longwood in the Bronx. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there, everybody. God bless y'all and peace.